not in every day, not in every situation, we're able to function as we hope, as we want, as we desire. Many times we find ourselves without power, without the energy, without the sources, resources, um, or even the motivation to do the great work that uh, is needed. But uh, we must strengthen ourselves always to remember that we are here for an inner connection, to channel the light of the goodness of our souls out to the world. And for that, the main tool and, uh, and channel is honesty, communication that is based on sincerity, to speak with your loved ones, to care and to share your honest feelings. It doesn't mean that we need to explode on them and tell them, I can't stand you anymore. It just means that we should be able to be honest and truthful and to express the, the love and the need that we have um, of friendship to our loved ones, to our surroundings. To tell your child or your partner, I need your support, I need a hug, I need you to care for me, or I'm sorry that I am not able to stand by your side and to supply your needs. Please help me to help you, help me to be the person that I believe that I can become. To be honest and open and truthful is the highway for success, especially in a, in a wonderful structure of a family um, when people depend on each other and people need each other's support and love and, and heart. It's very important that the foundation of the relationship will be based on fluent communication, many, many hours of conversation, talking about feelings, about emotions, about expectations and hopes and dreams from a sincere place with an honest heart. And even when you express your lackings and your needs and your fears and your pressures, when you do that from an honest place, you will not, um, you will not be judged and criticized as a weak person. Even if sometimes you will feel a certain feeling that is uncomfortable expressing your feelings, you will be appreciated for your truthfulness and for your sincerity. Try that and push toward that as much as you can on a daily basis to be as honest and truthful and nice and kind and sensitive as you can. And remember, when you open a door to enter, someone also might want to come out. Um, so when you start talking about yourself, remember that there are other people as well that might have feelings and emotions and memory of, uh, of things from the past. So we need to be ready for the conversations, uh, for the wind to blow from both ends. So don't think that uh, you can come and spill your guts on the table and not, uh, while not being ready to hear that someone else has also thoughts and feelings and emotions. So when you feel that you're ready for the conversation, so make it happen and prepare yourself for that because that's the only way to be open and to open the gate and the way for others um, to join you in that journey of, uh, of being truthful, of sincerity. Hebrew is such a wonderful language and I'm so sorry for you that I'm uh, not able to speak my heart to you in Hebrew. It could have been much nicer, but uh, as for now, we will be happy with the treasures that are being translated, treasures of, uh, of truth, words of truth that can be recognized. And may Hashem bless us all to attach ourselves to Him 
with a happy heart, healthy heart, a wishing soul desiring for goodness always, and may his blessing hover upon us all, and all our prayers will be answered in no time. Amen.